it is Sunday, April 8th. <laughs> I had to count in my head, sorry. Uh, I spent the morning uh, in my studio and, um, or art room, it's a bedroom, anyway. Working on the other sample for the upcoming secret thing, <laughs> um, which was the sunflowers. You saw on last week's vlog where I finished the face. And uh, here are the sunflowers, which I love them. And I will, I may, be, may do them at some point big, but I think doing the two samples just only confirmed that on the really big canvas, I'm going to do the face. Um, and if you forgot, if you haven't seen last week's vlog, um, I'll link it in the description below. Uh, but here's the face. I think I'm going to do this one big. And the size of the canvas that I'm talking about is that one. So it's about, I don't know, two feet by three feet. So I'm going to do her face really big. Um, I need a half-finished canvas for a photo shoot coming up, and I think she's going to be the one I'm working on on the photo shoot, so, yep. All right, I'm going to head off to Target right now and pick up a few things that I need, and uh, then I'm going to be on the couch probably the rest of the afternoon uh, when I'm not doing laundry and chores, catching up on my business notebook, and also I have daily sketching. I haven't caught up on it yet. I was going to do it yesterday. <sighs> We got caught up with um, appraisals on um, some construction in the backyard and all that stuff. So I didn't get it done. So I'm going to do it today. All right. This is a better angle. You don't see the bags under my eyes so much. I didn't sleep well last night. My brain wouldn't turn off. You guys ever have that? Your brain just won't shut off. And when it, as soon as you feel like it's shut off and you catch some sleep, then it turns back on again and wakes you up. Yeah. That would be me last night. So yeah, the bags under my eyes are always there, but they're extra big today. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go to Target. I'll be Hi guys. It is Monday, April 9th, 9th, I think. Pretty sure it's tonight. Anyway, um, I had another night of very little sleep. I've got this special project coming up that there's just a lot to do for and so I'm not getting a lot of sleep which is bad because part of this project involves me um, being in front of the camera and I need to not look like I'm death warmed over when that happens but maybe tonight I can get some sleep we'll see I am headed over to go get the mail I have spent the morning gathering things for the pro special project and working on the big canvas and getting it to the point where it's kind of halfway done. I can't do double quotes because I'm driving. Um, so I'm working on that. I finished the two sample canvases and the two journal pages last week. I'll insert pictures of them here if you haven't seen them yet. Keys, sorry. Um, and I thought initially when I started the process, I was gonna to wanna to probably end up painting the sunflowers. Boy, howdy, was I wrong. I'm gonna do the face on the big canvas. I may still do the sunflowers at some point, but for this project, I'm doing the face. It's a really cool, the painting on canvas turned out so well. I'm gonna to try to do a version of it again. Ha ha ha. <laughs> we'll find out if that actually happens or not. And um, yeah. So anyway, you like my new tank top? It has California bears all over it and it says California. I got it at Target. I love it. Um, so yeah, I have to figure out what I'm gonna wear for said photo shoot. That's gonna be interesting. Cause you know, this is my wardrobe. All right, that's it for the moment. I am going to go get my mail and then go home and have some water. Maybe try to take a nap cause I've gotten no, like, no sleep two days in a row. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I may just try to stay awake and that way I'll crash tonight. I don't know. We'll find out. We have gardeners starting their work on the, on the yard tomorrow, uh, Wednesday. I also have a conference call um, with the people regarding this special project. Around the same time as the gardeners are going to be there, that's going to be fun. I may actually have to leave the house if they're too noisy. The gardeners come at noon. 
and if I decide it's too noisy I might have to actually head over to the library or something so uh, yeah because that that might be a thing <sighs> what else Thursday I'm getting my hair done because yeah this isn't good for the photo shoot and Friday we're meeting with an attorney the a state attorney again and we have a Masonic Lodge event at night, a dinner, and then we have Red Cross blood donation on Saturday. So, yeah, I'll be bringing you all with me when I can. All right, that's it for the moment. I will be back. Hey, guys. How are you today? It's Tuesday, April 10th. <laughs> um, I've spent the morning chatting with friends and getting things together for the special project and um, props and things I need to bring with me the unfi whoop, where are we the unfinished painting and uh, yeah I need to start the pile now because I have a day a few days to think about it and mull it over in my head and edit what's in the pile or add things to it take them away that sort of thing um, for once in a long while the desk in my art room is clean um, so I can work on other projects. I did a sewing project today. I will, um, you know what? I'll, let me show it to you. I'll be right okay, back. So here's what I made today. I made a needle keeper, a little, basically a little book. You could use the little book for anything and you could fill it with paper, um, the cover. It's just a simple book. It's about four by six. And inside the cover, I have um, used a clip to attach this little bag which has magnetic needle threaders in it. Um, it's really hard some days to thread the needles, so these are really nice needle threaders, so I'm gonna, I forgot I had them till I was organizing this little booklet. Um, it's basically a needle keeper, so this first page has all of my uh, larger sort of upholstery needles. This one are my tapestry needles, knit, um, needles for weaving in yarn ends, I forget what these are called. These are double-ended, um, double-eyed sort of needles. They're actually for the serger, for weaving in the serger tails. Um, I don't remember what they're called. Those of you who out there who sew, who actually know what a serger or, or overlock machine is, will recognize these and know what they're called. And I can't, I can't for the life of me remember. Regular sewing needles and then bookbinding needles are super long needles. So this is really great and it's a nice way to store the needles in one place uh, without having a little plastic bin or something full of a million little packets of needles. And I have been finding needles all over the place. I have them hidden here and there and I think there might be some beading needles around here somewhere in another container. My goal is to have all the needles in the little needle book. <laughs> so anyway, I made that today. Um, but see, as you can see, my desk is clean for the first time in kind of a long while. It's clean or clean-ish. So I am going to keep it that foot away for a little while. I've got drawing and um, writing style journaling to catch up on. So for the next few days at least, I'm going to work on that. I may not do a lot of art journaling um, because... I have this other stuff to catch up on, but also because I packed my art journals, um, finished old ones and current ones I'm working on, so that makes working on them difficult. So anyway, all right, I'm going to go get the mail and then I'm going to finish laundry and all those sorts of non-interesting and exciting things. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll Good morning, this. everybody. It is Wednesday. Uh, April 11th. <laughs> I had to think about it. I knew it was Wednesday. So I, it's about 10, 15 ish in the morning, or just after 10. And I got my workout in already, and I've got all my coffee sucked down, and not a lot of other stuff done yet today. But I am headed out to the grocery store. I've got to pick up some groceries. We've got landscapers coming over today to do some major work in the backyard starting today. I also have a um, conference call at lunchtime today. 
with the people regarding the secret project and I can't still can't say too much about it I can when I can I will I can and I can tell you that I am the to be the subject of a photo shoot for a major company yeah it's very weird anyway so um, myself and my art are to be the subject of a photo shoot next week the shoots next week and um, it's in San Francisco my husband's gonna come with me so yeah <laughs> so we have a conference call about that today to work out the details and all of that stuff that's my keys sorry um, so I want to uh, be around for the conference call so I'm gonna go get my errands done early it also gives me something to do so I'm not you know nervous anxious driving myself stir-crazy all of those things um, what else I'm a little concerned about how much noise is going to be at the house <laughs> during the conference call because the landscapers will be there and I don't know you know if they're just using hand tools are they bringing in heavy equipment no idea so there is the possibility that I'm gonna need to like head out like to the library or something <laughs> um, yeah it's gonna be interesting so um, But they're supposed to be there about noon and the conference call I don't think starts until 1230. So I'll have a few minutes to decide if it's going to be way too noisy <laughs> and then I need to head out of the house. So we'll find out. In the meantime I'm going to go get my groceries. I need to get some stuff for lunch and dinner. We're running low on a few things. I want to get it over with. I usually go to the grocery store like Tuesday or Wednesday anyway and then again on Friday or Saturday so um, it's not my favorite chore. I like to get it over with. Don't want to have to worry about it. So yeah. I'm going to get enough I think to tide us over until Saturday because there's a lot of stuff going on on Friday. And I don't think I'm going to have time to run to the grocery store because there's too much going on. So, yeah. It is just after 10, so we're still sort of in the golden hour. Or hopefully will be where people are at work and not everybody's, you know, taking breaks for lunch yet because it's too early. We hope. Cross your fingers. So we can get in and get out. We don't have to deal with the lunch rush traffic. Oh, I also have to edit the vlog for last week today. Holy cow, it's Wednesday already and I forgot to edit it. I forgot to download the clips until last night. Because my, my week has just been, my weeks, weeks have been crazy, stressed. There's a lot going on with the landscaping and another round of home renovations. Um, some legal financial planning estate stuff going on. It's that time again um, The photo shoot There there's so much going on some of which I can't talk about um, That's business stuff. I There's just so much <laughs> And I just yeah, so little things Fall through the cracks occasionally I do have a list on my desk Um but I'm going to have to start adding edit vlog to the list because I have forgotten two weeks in a row. So when I get back from the grocery store, while I'm waiting for people to call me, I'm going to sit and edit the vlog from last week. And hopefully get that uploaded here to YouTube. All you can do when your life is like this and crazy like mine is try to remember to breathe. Stop and breathe, take a deep breath, make a list. My lists really do help me. Like I said, editing the vlog is not on the list, which is part of the problem. So as soon as I get back, this is like a verbal reminder to myself, I need to add edit the vlog to my list. Um, 
but if that li making a list helps you feel less out of control, do it. Just make a list. The illusion of control helps me keep the anxiety under control. The more out of control I am, the more anxious I get, which is not a good thing. So, yeah. <laughs> more red lights. After today's conference call, I've got to figure out what to wear for the photo shoot. That is my usual fare of things that I wear, but that is a color that will look good on camera. I like, I, do, I generally wear a lot of black and gray and yeah, the occasional purple or teal. I, the black or gray is not a good idea to wear on camera, so I need to a different color. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know. We gotta, I gotta figure out what to wear. I'm not gonna stress about it too much. I have a few options and I'll probably wear one outfit and bring like one or two more with me in case they want me to change. San Jose decided to take early lunch. It's the second time in a row I've tried to come in the morning. There's been a lot of people. Oh no, the traffic at the grocery store is not too bad. It's just, just leading up to the grocery store. It is, what day is it? Thursday, April 12th. <laughs> I'm so tired, can you tell? I know I always have bags under my eyes, but they're extra big today. We were puppy sitting Lily last night and because the kids had to go pick up Polyus' parents at the airport and Lily just wouldn't, would not quiet down. She just would not calm down last night. I don't know what was in her or up with her, I don't know. <laughs> Um, <coughs> anyway, typical puppy and, uh, the kids didn't get back to pick her up until pretty late last night. So I'm, I'm tired. Um, this morning I've spent some time, um, laying out some clothing for Monday's photo shoot and taking pictures of myself and sending them to my daughter, who's a photographer and saying, what do you think of these? She said, yes on that. No on that. Change this. So. We did that a couple of times back and forth via text message and so I've got some things laid out and she's going to actually come over this weekend and we'll review things again but um, I think that I'm all ready to go. I just need to rest between now and then and then get up early Monday and get myself sort of ready <laughs> and head up there. So um, yeah, the photo shoots in San Francisco. It's going to be a two hour drive to get there. So anyway, um, what else? I'm headed out right now to go run a crafty errand. I want to head over to Joanne's. I heard a rumor that there's some stuff, good stuff on clearance over there. So I want to go check it out. And then I'm going to go get, you know, this done. I'm going to get this touched up for Monday. So, you know, it doesn't look like I'm balding in the photos. <laughs> Anyway, and if in case you're wondering, this is the painting that I did a while back that's hanging in my bedroom. This is my bedroom. So anyway, I'm going to go do that, and I'll be okay, back. Okay, so my Joann's had distress, some of the distressed crayons on clearance, not all of them. Um, I got the, um, I don't know if the packs have colors, names. I don't think they do. So I got this one with all the, basically the neutral tones. It was half. And then I got this. Oh, that's pack number three. This is pack number two and pack number one. So the original three 
packs of distressed crayons were half off plus I got another 20% off my total purchase even sale items on top of that so they were 747 minus 20, another 20 percent um my joann's also had um Doris embossing folders on clearance from five dollars to 247 so about half price uh, again another 20 percent off because i got it off my total purchase so i got this one the clouds and the wood grain which i may have but i don't think so and then something I didn't need at all. Well, I didn't really need any of it, but I just couldn't resist these. These were, a, it's a wood garland. They're cactus. I don't know why cactus, I'm like into cactus right now. It was $5.99 and there are six different shapes in there. It's probably a little bit pricey, but again, I got 20% off and it just I couldn't resist. So anyway... Um, I know from talking to my friend Peg Robinson, some of the Joann's have um, alcohol inks and things on clearance. Mine didn't, um, but but they were in the midst of marking things, so um, it may just be they haven't gotten to it yet. They were marking all the Ranger stuff 30% off, um, and they're rearranging the scrapbooking and stamping department, mixed media department. They're doing some major refixturing and um, re-merchandising. Um, they were moving whole sections around. So check your local Joann's because they probably have stuff on clearance. All right, I'm gonna head out to uh, go towards the hairdresser and I have a little time to kill so I may stop and do something else. I don't know, we'll see. Good I'll morning everybody. It is Friday morning, April 13th, Friday the 13th. I know, right? Um, today I need to continue to get ready for Monday morning's photo shoot. I was just checking traffic conditions this morning at about the time I was planning on leaving Monday morning and how long it's going to take me to get there. We'll do it again Monday before we leave or as we're leaving. Uh, right now I'm taking my car in to go get the oil changed it's like 7 30 in the morning I made a bright and early appointment I'm hoping they can do it while I wait and I don't have to leave the car there and then take public transportation home or get a ride from their uh, little driver guy they do have one but we're gonna go do this this morning I haven't gotten on the treadmill or anything yet this morning and I'm not sure I'm going to. The next, like, two or three days, there's a lot going on. And I know I shouldn't neglect getting on the treadmill. In 1,000 feet, keep left. There you go, there's Jeeves. Um, but I have a lot going on. So I don't know if I'm going to or not. But I haven't showered or anything. I'll do that when I get back. So anyway, we're going to head on over to the dealership. And I will... Keep left on to State Route 85 North. There you go. 85 North. Santa Clara County. I live off of it somewhere. Hey guys, so we're here. This is my bathroom. So I was practicing with some makeup for Monday's photo shoot. What do you think? I'm not a makeup guru or anything. And I can only do so much about these. I was born with them. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I actually do uh, have... Um, some special cream it doesn't last very long but it like sucks up all the <laughs> yeah it makes them yeah anyway it makes them look really smooth so I'm gonna bring that with me just in case um, and if I smile they're less obvious so hopefully I'll be smiling in the photos anyway what do you think I just got my hair colored yesterday and um, I've got some new um, stuff in it that she gave me that she gave me sold me um, um, that I'm gonna use to soften up my hair and strengthen the hair um, I'm on a lot of medication right now so I've been worried about my hair thinning which it is so I am taking biotin now uh, nature's made biotin for hair skin and nails and um, it actually is helping with the dry patches on my face so and then uh, she which my um, 
a couple different people recommended that I trust. And then my hair gal gave me some stuff to try, including Olaplex to use once a week in my hair to strengthen my hair. So we're going to be doing that going forward. But anyway, what do you think of the makeup? Yeah. Is this this part? I mean, as long as they don't do a profile shot, we should be okay, right? Anyway, all right. I'm going to go... Hopefully my, my car is going to be ready soon at the dealership and go pick up my car and then we have errands to run and yeah, fun times. Good morning everybody. We are, what day is it? It's Saturday, Saturday morning, the 14th. April 14th. We're on our way to the Red Cross to go donate blood this morning and then later we're going to have lunch with the kids so we'll take you with us. donating blood for today and doing our good deed. When was the last time you did something like that? Think about it. All right, we'll be back. Hey guys, it's Saturday night and I have no idea what time it is. It's probably like eight o'clock or something. Anyway, I was taking this little tin that I was painting. Uh, if you follow me on social media, you've seen it already. It was an old toffee tin that somebody gave me. I don't remember who. It could be from anybody. But anyway, I had it in my stash of stuff. I decided to experiment with FW inks and some Bombay ink. I think there's some Dr. P.H. Martins some Dina Wakeley Media Paints and paint this little cactus with sort of a abstracted blue background and then I covered the whole thing with glossy accents to let it dry and it seems to work have worked out really well it doesn't seem to be peeling or anything and then I filled the inside of it with some of my favorite watercolor paints that I could have as a travel set in addition to the ones I already take which are mainly primary colors and I'm going to call this one my desert or landscape set and these are the colors here. They're um, all mostly Daniel Smith with a few M. Graham colors thrown in. They're so cool and I love this little tin. So I'm going to leave it out to set it to dry. So it just goes to show you what you can do with just stuff you have laying around. Um, use what you have. Don't go out and buy stuff unless you absolutely are sure you need it. And uh, just, you know, this is just an old chocolate tin. It could be used, it's the perfect size for this. Um, it's about three quarters of an inch deep, FYI. And it fits the uh, half watercolor half pans or full pans perfectly. I have 24 pans in here. Works great. All right, that's it for today. That's it for this week. I have a list of things I need to do tomorrow since I won't be here at all on Monday. Neither will my husband. We'll be at the photo shoot up in San Francisco. Wish me luck, people. <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes. Um, I am used to being in control of my camera and what I show on camera and all of that stuff. So per participating in this photo shoot for, shoot for this company and having no control <laughs> is really a challenge for me. So wish me luck. All right, that's it for today. That's it for this week. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or have forgot to, forgotten to link anything, please leave something in the comments below. That's it for today. I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Bye.